Hello Figurines and Collectors, this is me Daniel East 1000 back again with another Lord of the Rings Toy Biz figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a much beloved character from the franchise. He's one of my absolute faves, the super articulated <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Gollum, formerly known as Schmeagle. A really, really cool figure set. It is worth noting that I don't sadly have the packaging for this one. Although there are a couple of packaging variants to this with the one ring blue coloured style. It was also included in a multi-figure pack with Frodo in orc disguise. So there's a couple of ways to get this one. It is worth noting as well that they did do a, another version of Gollum of which had zero articulation. It was more of a bendable figure and came with a display stand that actually had a button that allowed you to activate some voices and sound effects. Uh, that was one of my first ever Lord of the Rings Toy Biz figures as well. And if I can ever dig that out, I will probably do a review on it. Although, spoiler alert, it's not a very good figure. So, with that out of the way and done with, let's take a look at the thingy itself. Must have the precious. They stole it from us. Sneaky little orbitses. Wicked, crazy, false. No. No. Master? Yes, precious. False. They will cheat you. Hurt you lie. Master's my friend. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. Not listening. So here we have Gollum and the quirky accessory that he does come with, which we will run through in the accessory segment. So we'll put that off to one side. So here we have <coughs> Stupid fat hermit! Um, my favourite character from the Lord of the Rings trilogy by far. He is absolutely fantastically immortalised in figgy form here. A real feat of engineering, I would say, for the time that this was released. He has so much detail, so much sculpting, and some beautiful, beautiful paint application that they've really applied onto this guy. Uh, my biggest complaint with this figure would be the fact of how loosey-goosey the legs are. They are so flimsy! <laughs> um, yeah, it's not really something you particularly want uh, from a figure if you want him in a standing pose because as soon as you put him there, his body just wants to lean forward and he's all falls. Which, you know, isn't too uncommon for Gollum, but it's just a little bit frustrating, particularly when you are wanting to pose him sort of like a little bit more upright and more sort of uh, expressive poses like that. You kind of have to find the sweet spot to get him to stand. And that involves sort of crouching him down a little bit. That's my biggest gripe, I think, is just the articulation in the legs. Um, so it is sort of hard to get him to stand and in certain poses, but nonetheless, just have a look at that head sculpt, those big piercing eyes, his gummy little teeth, and the wisps of hair. Just looks super, super creepy, super grotesque. Red raw flesh markings, there's a little golem nips as well, all out on show. Yeah, just really, really, intricate um, there's some nice grubby sort of dirt detailing on his hands like he's been in the mud and dirt and in caves god knows where it's really unkept and they captured that perfectly with this figure you've got his loincloth as well just looking around to the legs you've got some of that red bruising for some reason mine has some <laughs> black paint smudge in there i don't know if that's actually meant to be a thing i feel like that might be a defect at least on mine but no biggie Considering that I'm probably going to have him more facing forward like that. And even on the feet as well. See them hobbit feet. Very, very dirty and grubby again. Just like he's been crawling about. God knows where. I would say in terms of the hand gestures. Not too sure what's going on with this one. Because his fingers are kind of like posed like that. Um, not too sure there. Yeah, kind of interesting. Kind of posing with those, those fingers. 
Almost like he's uh, flipping the bird a bit. As for accessories, there isn't really anything personable to Gollum. Uh, maybe a fish? A cheeky fish! There are campers, Nazanko, to catch a fish! <laughs> That would have been pretty cool. Would have been nice if they included that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure what, what they could have included with this guy. So I think the play feature they did include, of which is this big rock face piece, is quite interesting. So the idea is, at the back there's this mechanism, hand operated, and so you've got these little clasps uh, just here. So what the idea is, take Gollum, pose him up, slot his hands in, so you kind of have him like that, and then you can oh, have him climb the rock face, or scale it down, and yeah, it's um, very much like a McDonald's toy, uh, very akin to the sort of accessories that they would put in with toys at the time, but yeah, just kind of interesting nonetheless. Me personally, I use this for uh, another reason, and if you cast your mind back to the Fellowship of the Ring action figure multi-pack that I reviewed, the link will be up there if you want to check that out, it came with a one ring. Malprasus. <laughs> um, so what you can do with that, or at least what I tend to do, because I didn't really know how to display it, is I kind of just... Uh, Slot it over like that, and uh, yeah, you've got a nice way to display the little one ring that you get in that pack. So it's just an additional little feature, something that I like to do with it. Um, it's just a nice place so people can see it, and it's just not hidden off in your display. But um, no, the real intention of this is actually to be a play feature for the kiddies, although, you know, it's a kind of one and done gimmick. In, in my eye. It does come in separate pieces, just because obviously if this was in packaging, it would just be a lot bulkier and bigger. So, it's, uh, for ease of storage within packaging, it was in, I want to say, three separate pieces. So you've got this top section here, you can see where it divides up, um, and then the base, of course, that just plugs in. Although it is quite tough to disassemble it once you've got it all assembled together. But yeah, there's like, there's four pieces in total. You've got that piece, that piece, that piece, and then of course this mechanism there. So the shuffle shuffle. Um, it's really nicely painted. That's one thing I would say. Uh, they've really gone to town with some of that dry brushing and stone weathering work. You can even see some bits of moss sort of grown there, which is very, very nice. Yeah, it's, it's just a nice little backdrop, I suppose, for the figure. And again, it's got that quirky, fun, little play feature but I'm sure you could find some other uses for this I mean even just like that a bit of hype for your figures uh, on display you could maybe do it you just have to take that little mechanism out it's it's just a bit of wall there's nothing really to ring home about in terms of it so just going back to the figure itself and uh, wrap things up in terms of its articulation because this is a super poseable golem really is what it says on the tin. So first and foremost, you've got a ball jointed head on a ball hinge, although it's very limited because the head's quite sunken into the actual post. We can still get a fairly okay amount of articulation there. You've got some ball jointed shoulders, swivels at the tops of the bicep, hinges at the elbow, swivel at the top of the forearm just there, hinge at the wrist and then actual hinges in the fingers as well. So that's really really impressive. Hinges in the torso so you can do a bit of an ab crunch as well. It's got swivel in the torso just there. Uh, ball jointed hips and that's like I said very very loose on my version and it's very hard to get them to stay. I think I need to get some sort of um, joint tightening lubricant for that. Swivel thighs, hinged knees, uh, swivels at the tops of the feet, a hinged foot and hinged toes as well. So you can really get a great amount of articulation and posability out of this guy. Although, like I said, at least on my copy, it's a little bit difficult due to how loose these legs are. Um, you really do have to find a sweet spot in terms of that. Overall, for the time that this was made, the articulation on this thing is absolutely bang on. Um, I'm really, really impressed with it. I think it looks really accurate to Gollum. I think because of how spindly he is, it is incredibly difficult to get 
a great amount of articulation in there, um, at least I imagine back in the day at the time when this was being released. Um, so I can only really applaud them for managing to put the amount that they have done into this guy um, without it being fragile either. So yeah, just overall some really, really cool stuff. I think in terms of value for money back in the day, if they just had the Golem on his own with nothing else, would have really had people questioning where the value for money was going. I think some action figure connoisseurs would have been completely cool with it and could have done without the play feature. But I don't know, I'm really glad that they did include that play feature just because it does fill out that packaging. There's not really much that you could include accessory wise with Golem because he doesn't really use any weapons in the film so yeah this is a fun one i'm really pleased that i picked this so loose joints aside which is a little bit uh, niggly annoying i think this really does hold up he's an absolute must have and trumps the other version of Gollum that came out in this line as well. Just the sculpting, detailing, paint application, and the fact that they managed to get him in a relatively correct scale is just really, really impressive. Again, this is another example of how much Toy Biz took into consideration with a lot of the figures in the line and really tried to avoid skimping out. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you pick this one up? And while this is me, Daniel Lee's 1000, sign out and thank you very much for watching. Yeah, cool, yeah.